It could begin today, today, today. And Custer. please don't push me. Jeffrey. Today, politics is indispensable. Gallagher. The U.S. Congress chooses a speaker, McCarthy. and the whole world is watching this extravaganza McCarthy. of democracy. In which we enjoy One, living the two, three, the five, the nine, Captain. eleven, fourteen votes, and nothing. Jeffries. What does this remind me of? of New Jersey. Probably this one. McCarthy. <laughs> <laughs> McCarthy. Although, you can stare endlessly at the waves, the fire, the voting in Congress, or at the Chinese astronaut, who also has nothing to do. So he drives the ball around the station. But he hits the ball, unlike President Biden. Damn, what's the secret? And the secret is that McCarthy agreed to new rules for the work of Congress, according to which one congressman can initiate the deprivation of the Speaker's office. In other words, McCarthy wrote his resignation letter, signed it, but didn't date it. And someone put this paper in the safe. Guys, long live democracy. He won after the 15th vote. And now let's go in the footsteps of the new year. Let's see what we missed in the new year's fuss. Phew, that's not what I meant at all, not Times Square. Remember, when we congratulated you on the new year, a jet-powered reindeer team carried Santa Claus into the sky. So, one deer from the team, obviously, jumped out, and is now independently looking for a way to Lapland. Well, let's wish him. China removes anti-COVID restrictions and Harbin welcomes guests with such a snowman. It took 2,000 cubic meters of snow to mold such a giant. If you think that fireworks are always from the bottom up, then you are mistaken. Fireworks can be from top to bottom. A couple more big news. Western sanctions have finally proved their effectiveness. McDonald's is leaving Kazakhstan. The reason is simple. The ban on the import of Russian meat and the high cost of alternative supplies. Goodbye, Kazakh Big Mac. Scientists have calculated that around April, China will cease to be the most populated country. India will overtake him. And a little about the weather. I'll risk annoying you with a Jens Stoltenberg quote about Putin using winter as a weapon. President Putin is now trying to use a weapon, uh, uh, use the winter as a weapon. But here's the map. This is Europe, and it's warm here. And this is Russia. And it's cold here. Very, very, very cold. He is a very strange commander, this Putin.